What's going on, Ruby Squad? It's your boy, Ruby Dragon Road here, and guys, today we are Gigantamaxing our Bakugan. I hope I can use that. Um, no, we're looking at this. Um, this is the Bakugir Deca set that was only available at Target. This is the Darkest Feral version. Um, unfortunately, I have not been able to find the Aurelis Trox version. They do have an Aurelis Trox version, which I would love to find if possible. Um... Hopefully, maybe if I go online or something, maybe on Target.com, they might have it. Um, but so far, it's 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 been nothing. They, we haven't been able to find it. But yeah, guys, this comes with a Deca Bakugan, um, a regular core Bakugan, the Baku gear that fits into the core of the core Bakugan, and the big Deca Baku gear. This is awesome. Like, giant Baku gear. That's really cool. It reminds me of back in the old days when we had the actual um, battle gear that was DECA. Um, except these don't, of course, don't have the springs in them. But yeah, guys, take a look at the back here. It shows what we get. We get the giant Baku core, the two Baku cores, and the ability card and the character card for Darkest Feral. And, of course, we get the regular Feral and the Feral DECA. That's it for the pack of the box, guys. Nothing more, nothing less. Let's go ahead and get this thing open Just see how awesome it is. All right, guys, so you can clearly see what I meant by we are going to Gigantamax our Bakugan. <laughs> so anyway, this is the Deca Feral and the normal Feral out of the packaging, including their Bakugir, which I'm going to dub Shadow Spears um, or Shadow Arrows. I don't really know. I think they're, I don't know if they're, these are the same um, Bak like little mini gear that comes with Cyrus. I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, re-check that out. Um yeah, I have to check that out again later. But anyways, guys, this is what you get pretty much out of the box. We do get some cards, and we do get some cores. So let's go ahead and look over the cores real quick. We do get a plus two damage green fist and a shadow strike helix. Nah. <laughs> Just nah. And then we get this beautiful artwork of Darkest Feral. Looks really, really cool on the giant Baku core. That looks amazing. And, of course, on the back... It has Bakugan Armored Alliance on it. So, yeah. That's really cool to get. Kind of like those uh, giant, giant, giant uh, Baku cards back from the original game. But they were, like, huge. <laughs> um, then we also do get the Darkest Feral character card. It is 605 damage. Brings in a Helix and a Green Fist. Um, I kind of wish that these this was the Epic character card instead of the regular Feral card. Um... But yeah, we'll have to wait till we get some Fusion Force packs to get some of them. And then, of course, we also get a gear card, which is Darkest Destroyers. This is from Fusion Force. It is, uh, costs 2 energy, gives you Shadow Strike, and plus 200 B and plus 1. I believe this is a better version of Scorching Swords. I think. It's been a while since I built a deck, so I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at these Bakugan here. So the little spears... Um, have nice little details, but you know what? Because we have the big ones, we're gonna check a look at the at these instead. So yeah, pretty much the same exact details on these. Uh, the nice clear translucent purple plastic with the green highlights and the black accent there looks really cool. It kind of looks like a rabbit. <laughs> kind of looks like a rabbit. I don't know. It's just me. Taking a look at you know what? I think we already did go over Darkest Feral. Let's go ahead and look at the Deca version. Because this actually has more detail. Um, more detail that you can actually see. Especially in the wings here. Obviously they both do have pretty good detail. For what they are, the Darkest Symbol is right there on the very bottom next to the Magnet. Which the Magnet on this one is pretty huge. And they are Magnets. They will repel each other. So, <laughs> I mean of course they're Magnets. But I mean like they're the poles are the same so they'll repel. Nice silver accents there for the Egyptian look of the hood right there. Looks fantastic. Looks amazing. And then the same thing for the Pharaoh here. Has a nice little Egyptian silver hood right there. I love the reason that this kind of like metallic silver chrome paint um, on the Bakugan now. It looks really, really nice. So yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and keep this video kind of short. So we're going to go ahead and look at these guys op opened up.
All right, guys, so here we have them all out with the Bakugan attached, and yeah, I love Deca Bakugan for the, for the reason that they are huge, and they have, like, the detail, you can actually see it really more clearer than you can on just a regular um, Bakugan, and this is just awesome. This is awesome to see. So, taking a quick look at Mini Feral here, it has that nice sphinx body, cute little face right there, you can kind of see the detail in it. But if we go to the DECA version of it, you can really clearly see the details that go into the sculpt here. Even the, like, kind of like the slits in the eyes a little bit right there. Looks really, really amazing. Um, definitely given that Egyptian vibe because it is called Feral for a reason. Um, you know, and everything. And it's really really amazing take a look at the back here this is where the baku gear goes you can even put one on top here so if we were to get that trox the trox has like that really cool like laser that would go right up here it looks so cool i'll have to uh if i do find it i'll have to do that so i can show you what it looks like then but yeah guys that's gonna actually do it for this video um not really much to it just because we've i think we've already gone over uh, darkest feral before um in a three pack but um, this is just going over the DECA version. Uh, I kind of wish it was a Pyrus one. That'd be really, really cool. You know, but I can always have a dream, right? So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Also, guys, don't forget to hit that beautiful, beautiful Pyrus subscribe button. And, guys, leave a comment down below if you guys have found this set in, tar in your targets and actually picked it up. Or if you're just going to just do a hard pass because you're not a big fan of DECA Bakugan. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.